this is a tutorial on using Google Sheets for bar graphs. Um, it's been my experience that I feel like bar graphs are teachers' favorite things to use to graph data. I'm pretty sure that oftentimes in, um, when you're using Excel, I'm pretty sure in the drop-down menu, bar graphs is one of the first choices. So I think a lot of people default to it. Bar graphs should be, really be used to um, summarize data. Um, so for example, maybe you're doing the average frequency of a target behavior by day of the week, or you're showing the total number of behaviors per month. So these might be behavior summaries, maybe something I'm presenting at an annual review um, or in conjunction with um, some testing or a functional behavior analysis. Um, so I kind of want to give a summary of some of the target behaviors, whether that be by month, by day of the week. Uh, maybe I have a graph that shows the average frequency um, of maybe three different target behaviors. Um, they're not really meant to show daily data. Um, sometimes I will have people share graphs with me will, where it will be the frequency of hitting, kicking, self-injury and number of tantrums per day and it will be represented as a bar graph and they're taking ba daily behavior data well at the end of the month you end up with like 50 bars in your bar graph that should really be graphed as a line graph it's especially overwhelming sometimes i think people default to it because when you're graphing multiple behaviors and then you turn it into a line graph it gets really messy um so if you have four target behaviors on a line graph, in that case, I just feel like you should make four different graphs. You could have a line graph for kicking. You could have one for hitting. You could have one for self-injury and tantrums. Make it four separate graphs. Um, you don't have to have those all on one graph. I feel like maybe the intention of that with some people is to show, oh, one behavior is higher than the other. In that case, do a summary graph using a bar graph and saying, Here's the average of this behavior per week. Here's the average number of tantrums, average number of physical aggression, average number of self-injury. Um, so here's just some examples of charts. So for example, total behavioral episodes um, by day of the, sorry, it should say by day of the week. And it says month here. So this is showing that Monday is the highest. Um, so maybe I have some sort of assessment open, and so maybe I'm proposing alternating, alternating something in that child schedule of their day specific to Mondays to decrease problem behavior. Um, here's average, again, by day of the week. You can have multiple behaviors. So again, I see Monday's the highest. Um, I could do month, so maybe at a child's annual review, we're updating the BIP, and I want to show what does it look like. We've been working on reducing um, physical aggression, so I could have month total frequency of physical aggression. Format, and then I'm going to say wrap because it's overflowing into the next box. I'm going to say September, October, November, December. And we have our meeting in January, so I just want this update. We started off at um, 55 for the month, then we went down to 40. Um, 37 and then 30. Again, it defaults to a, a bar graph. I could click on this or I could go under customize chart and access titles. I can say total frequency of physical aggression. It always does like the verses in the title. So I'm going to say by month. I always try to make the title as specific as possible, just assuming that maybe somebody who didn't take the data, such as parents um, or guardians or outside providers are looking um, at this data. So again, maybe I'm sharing this at a meeting to show 
we've been working on our play this uh, behavior is attention seeking and we've been um, working on the replacement behavior of having the student um, call out um, a staff member's name and say can I tell you something and then engaging in conversations so we've been working on that replacement behavior um, with our behavior intervention plan and then we're showing that every month the total count of this target behavior is decreasing. This is showing um, our team members and parents that this plan is effective. So here's a nice summary that we might be sharing at an annual review. Um, you could also do, this could also be total duration. It could be an average. Um, so again, bar graphs are really meant to summarize. So I'm showing the total frequency. I'm showing maybe the average like I had over here. This was an average, so I'm showing an average frequency by day of the week. And I'm showing right here that the beginning of the week is a lot harder than the end of the week. So I might use this, maybe I'm again talking with a parent or problem solving with my team members and we're looking at maybe that child's schedule for Monday and Tuesday. Maybe we have determined the function of this behavior is escape and so we're gonna look to alter um, some of those work demands on Monday and Tuesday, knowing that after the weekend, um, some of those behaviors are higher. So we're going to put an antecedent intervention in place. Um, and we're using kind of this summary to support this. So again, bar graphs are really meant for summaries. Um, they're not meant for a daily behavior. Progress monitoring right here. See, I just have a couple bars. If you were graphing something and you have, you know, like, 30, 40, 50, 60 bars right in a row, and they're super skinny, so thin that you can barely even see the color, you need to switch to a line graph. Um, they're not meant to progress monitor um, over time like that. So again, this would be like an average, um, a total duration. It would be looking by day of the week, by month. I might be using this to look at patterns. Um, I might be doing like an average or total duration or average duration by class period um, or by time of day. So again, doing these types of summaries would be to look for patterns. Um, is something more frequent a certain day of the week, a certain time during a certain activity or class period? Um, or just, again, to do summaries um, to show that we've had a reduction. So when I'm sharing out data, um, at an FBA or an annual review, I have some of these summaries to kind of show over time, yes, this behavior has decreased. Um, and that's our graphs.